One of the things that we love the most about Italians is that everything they do, they add a dash of flair and drama into it. When they talk, they use their hands. Everything is gesticulated. And pasta is never just pasta, but it comes with exotic names that regardless how you pronounce it, is going to always sound yummy. Bolognese, puttanesca. You know what I'm saying? Catching my drift? Take this car for example. It's not a regular four-door executive sedan, but it is a dramatic rendition of an executive sedan. This is the Ghibli. And the manufacturer is not just Maserati, but it's Maserati. We're going to check out how dramatic this car really is. Alright guys, time to take a closer look at the design language of this Maserati Ghibli. Despite the fact that it's the only other four-door sedan in the Maserati range, the front end does not mimic the bigger brother Quattro Porte. This is more in line with the Gran Turismo cars. You know why? Because you see the Quattro Porte has convex grills. For this one, it actually has concave grill. And that is similar-ish towards the, um, the Gran Turismo cars rather than the Quattro Porte. But despite that, this entire front end is totally Maserati Ghibli and it looks menacing. The small slit for the front eyes and its upturned edges, it just gives this car a very menacing, growling kind of look. The dual, um, or rather the Bizenon projector headlamps are standard across the range and it actually throws the line up over this muscly wings of the car which goes all the way to the back. There isn't really one line that goes from the front to the back but it's actually a combination of various lines that just adds beautiful dimensions to the car and it plays around with the light a lot. You'll have to see this car in a metal to really appreciate the kind of subtle musculature that this car has. Now, what's not so subtle are the wheels. You see these are 18 inch wheels that actually comes standard with the car when it rolls out of the factory but for Malaysian cars it comes standard with 19s which are otherwise cost options. So it will look fantastic, but these 18s provide um, a more comfortable drive. Duds, duds, they don't do anything, but that's a common design feature for Maserati cars. And then um, uh, keyless go and keyless entry is of course another cost option, but um, it just looks a bit on the low side. So it's not a, it's not a very tall car. It, it has a, a very nice, uh, four-door coupe kind of sensation when you're looking at it. Uh, and that sensation continues all the way to the back. I gotta say, my favorite feature about any Maserati is this. The logo on the C pillar of the car, it just looks so regal. It's like wearing a proud badge on your shirt pocket and it just looks mahal. It looks very mahal. Okay, the design of the back uh, has gotten some criticism from uh, a lot of the quarters out there simply because they feel that it looks a little bit on the lumpier side. Um, I, I actually have to agree because whilst the car looks really menacing up front, at the back it just looks a little bit more friendly and it just does not, the story doesn't gel between the front angry menacing look of the front and the sweet friendly bottom <laughs> or rear of the car. There's no drive there. But one thing that you will definitely appreciate is this. Oop, if I can find it, there we go. Uh, the car comes with 500 liters of boot space, ensuring that you can put all your luggage in there without any problem at all. Whilst it may not be the biggest in its class, it actually has a pretty low um, loading height. So it's very easy for you to pick up your bags and just chuck it in there. Totally easy. Uh, and um, the quad pipes just sets you apart from everybody else out there. But if you think the outside looks good, check out the inside. Ooh, check this out, frameless doors, but they're double glazing nonetheless, ensuring that you have very little noise coming in from the outside via the windows. Uh, very pretty. Okay, welcome to the interior of the Maserati Ghibli. Now this is a, an Italian interior and you know exactly what that means. That means that this is a gorgeous place to be in. It is just absolutely beautiful. 
the leather just looks supple. Uh, according to my friend Jibril, who is helping me out with this shoot, uh, the leather is actually the top of the range variant that you can choose from. There are three different options that you can go for, uh, but in Malaysia, they'll give you the best one. In fact, you know, the Malaysian cars are probably amongst the best spec in the world. Uh, very soft buttery leather uh, that just looks the business uh, with the stitching and the perforation. It's just so very, very beautiful. So whilst you get leather on the dash, on the seats, on the steering wheel and on the doors, you will get Alcantara for the roof lining and the pillars as well. The cockpit itself is very easy to understand. It's actually a pretty straightforward car because you've got your steering over here and you've got your uh, clocks up front with uh, a TFT screen right down the middle which gives you all the information that you need. Um, you've got the pedals and everything uh, where you need them. Everything is controlled via this central touch screen. It is big, it's very well and um, lit and it's very easy to read. Uh, you've got your radio, your ice, your uh, phone settings and your nav, everything right here down the middle. Climate control is down the center and you've got more than enough cubby holes to keep you or your passengers entertained for a very long time. Now, uh, one thing that's of course optional is this uh, wood grain. It looks fantastic with this color combination, but if you're the kind of person who does not like wood, you can go for um, carbon fiber finish, which again looks fantastic as well. Uh, and the clock is just an elegant piece of art right down the middle of the car. Beautiful, beautiful. The car of course is rear wheel drive, so the central tunnel is fairly high. Whilst you may get good um, uh, space up front for the cockpit for yourself and also for the front passenger nothing to fault we're just waiting to see if there is nothing to fault with the drive as well it is a maserati right at the end of the day so buckle up all right time to be driving this car and uh, we're gonna do this in you know two parts uh, the first is where everything is in normal and it actually really does feel like you're driving a very 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 normal car you're not driving a Maserati and all that drama just becomes something at the back of your mind you don't actually feel it it's very uh, compliant it's soft it's very comfortable and in normal mode it really does feel like quite the regular four-door sedan that you would expect it to be um, which is really it. So that means there's a marked duality for this car which everybody would appreciate especially if you are left with just one option which is to buy one car that does everything that you need to do. So if you need this car to be comfortable, it will do it well and if you need it to be fast, it would also do it well. I think we are going to find out right now. Oh, uh, the car comes with um, an 8-speed uh, ZF gearbox, uh, a normal automatic that shifts quite seamlessly and very smooth, lah. you know, no complaints in that department. Next, you want to hit the um, shocks button because it stiffens everything up. Uh, the sport button actually quickens throttle response and, uh, and shifting time, uh, which gives you a, a more sporty feel. Uh, and the uh, shocks, well, firms things up. Then you want to go manual because this beautiful aluminum belays is just, it gives you a very, very precise sense of clicking into gear and that's just, wow. Shift down. And the car plays along with you. Now in sport mode, you can definitely feel that you are actually uh, driving something a lot racier than what you would allow this car to be otherwise, especially if you were used to driving the uh, the normal mode earlier, it just changes the whole behavior and characteristic of the car, becoming something a little bit less recognizable. It's just a marked difference between the car that was before and the car uh, that is now in the sport mode. The Maserati Ghibli is a car that is artistically engineered. Everything that you love about it and everything that you think is the flaw was done specifically so, so that this car is different from the others. Even the way the door closes. It doesn't close with a resounding thud like its German brothers or sisters. Instead, it closes with a very signature clank. And that is because it needs to be different. 
This is a car that you purchase to set yourself apart and to some above everybody else in the four-door executive sedan market. But one thing for sure, like the name suggests, the Ghibli is a win in the Saharan and it denotes power and speed. You get power, you get speed, but you also get style, presence and a lot of drama.